Hello students, today we are going to study permittivity and relative permittivity and the dielectric constant of a medium. So, the Coulomb's constant C was not an independent constant, instead it depends upon medium. Now, how does it depend upon medium? Suppose I have two charges Q1 and Q2 and let us them be of opposite sign, so they must be attracting each other. We can imagine that there are thin strings between them which are pulling each other. We can imagine that there are thin strings between them which are pulling each other. Which is why force of attraction has come. There are some strings that are pulling each other. Suppose that there are 100 strings that are pulling each other. When it is present in the air. When it is present in the air, there are 100 strings that are pulling each other. Now you have to think what will happen if I dip these two charges inside some liquid or inside some dielectric or inside some insulator. Oh, that's the word for dielectric, an insulator. So suppose I dip this in water, to kya hoga? To aapko pata hai ki jaise hi ye water mein jayenge, to water ki kuch rassiyan iske andar gusengi aur inki rassiyon ko tor dengi. Inki rassiyon ko कम कर देंगी वाटर की कुछ जो फोर्सेस होंगी वो इनके बीच की फोर्सेस को कम कर देंगी और मान लेते हैं कि 80 रस्सी टूट गई हैं उसमें सिर्फ 20 रस्सी बची ठीक है 80 स्ट्रिंग्स टूट गई हैं और 20 स्ट्रिंग्स बची हैं सो द फोर्स बिटवीन देम मस्ट हैव डिक्रीस्ड बाय अ फैक्टर ऑफ 80 ऐसा क्यों हुआ क्योंकि पानी के अंदर की जो फोर्सेस हैं वो इसके बीच की फोर्सेस को तोड़ रहे हैं इसका मतलब वाटर अपने अंदर की जो फोर्सेस हैं उनको परमिट कर रहा है परमिट कर रहा है टू ब्रेक द फोर्सेस बिटवीन द चार्जेस ओके विद दिस लाइन द वाटर्स फोर्स इज अलाउिंग टू परमिट इट्स ओन फोर्स बिटवीन द फोर्सेस बिटवीन दीज चार्जेस सपोज Suppose I dip them in some another medium having mica sheet between them. Mica is a material insulator, this side Q1 and this side Q2. Now suppose this mica sheet allows only, only 90 of these strings to pass through and the 10 strings are blocked. That means mica sheet has allowed or it has permitted then of its own line to interfere within these lines. Yani, this line is permitted by its own line. Yani, the force is also less than it will be. 10 times less than it will be. 10 times decrease it will be. Okay? Or 10 value decrease it will be. So, this is what permittivity means. Yani, we are seeing that which medium is जिस भी मीडियम की टेंडेंसी अपनी फोर्स को परमिट कराने की ज्यादा है जैसे वाटर की अपनी फोर्स को परमिट कराने की टेंडेंसी ज्यादा थी तो फोर्सेस बिटवीन चार्ज ज्यादा डिक्रीज हो गई मतलब जो फोर्स है इट मस्ट बी इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द साइन ई व्हिच इज डिनोटेड फॉर परमिटिविटी अब फिजिक्स में कोई चीज क्वालिटीज चलती नहीं तो हमें क्वांटिटी चाहिए तो परमिटिविटी के लिए हम कॉन्ट्रेक्ट लाए ई which denotes how much the medium allow its own line of forces to interfere between the line of forces of the charge. Jitna interfere karega, utna force kam ho jayega. So, us is aap se C ko bola gaya, 1 by 4 pi epsilon. This 4 pi is solid angle, you study in later chapter, Gauss law, Gauss theorem. This epsilon is known as permittivity, read as epsilon, permittivity. So, you know, so higher the permittivity, Lesser is the force between the two charges. For the most widely used medium, that is air or vacuum or free space, the value of permittivity is denoted by epsilon naught. The naught denotes presence of no medium. is 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12. Let's try to work out the unit of permittivity. Let's write the Coulomb's formula F is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon. How? C is substituted by 1 by 4 pi epsilon. Q1, Q2 upon R square. So epsilon goes here side to become the subject. So we get the unit as 
in the numerator we have coulomb square in the denominator we have newton and meter square you see epsilon goes this side coulomb square per newton meter square so we can write it as coulomb square per newton meter square this is the SI unit of permittivity in IITJ 2013 it was asked what is the dimension of permittivity so we can easily work it 2013 upon newton newton is force permittivity permittivity tells how much the force decreases or how much the force between the two charges is affected due to the presence of a medium so higher the value of permittivity lower is the force now permittivity of any other medium permittivity of any other medium so we see that permittivity has the smallest value for air yani air mein permittivity sabse kam hai air ki line of force sabse kam interfere kar rahi hai is wajah se do charges ke beech mein jo maximum force hai wo kis mein hoga air mein hoga kisi aur medium mein dalenge to permittivity for any other medium is greater than epsilon naught kisi bhi medium ki permittivity jo hai wo epsilon naught se greater hoti hai suppose we put something in water then the force in water between the two charges will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon of water multiplied by q1 q2 by r square where we know definitely ew is greater than epsilon naught so force in water must be smaller than the force in air now we come to another term known as relative permittivity Now, as the term suggests, relative, it must be comparing to some initial value. So, relative permittivity is denoted by ER. It is the ratio of the permittivity of that medium to the permittivity of free space or air. So, it tells how many times the permittivity of medium is greater than the permittivity of air. Let us put an equation and really check out what does this mean. Suppose in a medium, the force between two charges is given by 1 5 4 pi epsilon of medium q1 q2 by r square when the two charges are put in a medium suppose there is some kind of medium which has permittivity em and the force between these two same charges when put in air is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 by r square and we are supposing the charges are the same and the separation between the charges also remains same this is in air. Now let us find the ratio of Fm is to F0 or F0 is to Fm. Whatever you wish, let us find the ratio. So let us find Fm upon F0. So we will see that Q1, Q2 upon R square and Q1, Q2 upon R square gets cancelled. And we get finally on dividing as 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught upon epsilon M. So we will get it like this. Now you know this is something, what? 1 upon relative permittivity. So we can write it as Fm upon F0 is equal to 1 upon Er. Further, we can write Fm is equal to F0 upon Er. Please note it. This is very, very important. The force in the medium decreases by a factor of Er, which was the force in air. यानी अगर एयर में दो चार्जेस के बीच में मान लीजिए दो चार्जेस हैं उनके बीच में फोर्स 10 न्यूटन है और मान लीजिए ये किस में है एयर में है मान लीजिए कोई मीडियम में हमने इसको इंसर्ट किया जिसका रिलेटिव परमिटिविटी अभी मान लेते हैं हम कि सिर्फ 2 है तो जैसे ही मीडियम में डालेंगे तो फोर्स कितना हो जाएगा Fm is equal to F0 force in air upon Er that is 10 by 2 that is 5 the force कितना कम हुआ two times कम हुआ यानी relative permittivity ये बताता है कि किसी medium में दो charges को डालने में जो उनके बीच का force था जो कि air में था वो कितने times कम हो जाएगा so we can say relative permittivity is the measure of the number of times the force between two charges decreases as the force was in air this is the definition for relative permittivity denoted by E of medium upon E naught, or we can also write it as E R is equal to E R is equal to force in air upon force in medium.
it is a dimensionless quantity because it is the ratio of same two physical quantity you can easily see it has no units it's only the magnitude which tells how much force or how many times the force decreases between two charges when they are inserted in a medium it is also known by another name which is dielectric constant yes ka dusra naam hai dielectric constant Now there was a question asked in your examination. solve ic board question 2009 which says the relative permittivity of water is 81 what do you mean by this statement so definitely this statement means that the ratio of the permittivity of water to the permittivity of air is 81 or you can state the permittivity of water is 81 times the permittivity of air you can also define it in terms of charge that the force between two charges when immersed in water decreases by a factor of 81 as the force between them was in the air so these are the two ways you can answer that question there is another question asked in your examination isc 2013 it was if ew and e not denotes the relative denotes the actual permittivity of water and air and it is given that the relative permittivity of water is 81 then how e w and e not are related so we can write the relation the question was how e w and e not are related so we can write the relation e r is equal to e w upon e not that is 81 is equal to e w upon e not so we can write e w is equal to 81 times of e not boya it's a simple question i know now let's solve another question which was asked in ai triple 2010 the question says that there are two charges which are formed which are sticked with a pith ball there are two charges which are sticked with a pith ball and the separation between them is suppose r the mass of the ball is not given instead its density the density of the charge or of the sphere density of the sphere was given to us as 1600 kg per meter cube now these two charges were first put in air and let us assume the angle here is theta that is between one string and the normal now these two charges were immersed inside water or a liquid not water actually a liquid in this question and somehow the angle theta doesn't change this medium has a density of 800 kg per meter cube definitely it's alcohol having the same density but this angle doesn't change so they asked what is the dielectric constant or or we say it what relative permittivity of the medium this was the question you can read it it's below you can pause and read the question so let's solve it i hope you have paused and read the question so let's solve it over here now we will draw the fbd here will be a tension force t we will draw this line and we know this angle will be theta so let's draw the fbd of the sphere t will have a component this side you know this side has a component how much t cos theta and this side it will have a component t sin theta now the vertical component of t in equilibrium will be balanced by the weight of the sphere which is mg acting downwards and the horizontal component will be balanced by the force between the two charges acting in air let us suppose is f not we will not write it as the uh, formula c q is 1 q 2 upon r square no we don't need it we write it as the force between two charges in air now we immerse it in liquid Okay, first let's draw an equation so we can say for equilibrium T sine theta is equal to F naught and T cos theta is equal to mg. 
dividing these two equations, dividing the first equation by second, we will get tan theta is equal to f naught upon mg. We can write it like this. Tan theta is equal to f naught upon mg. Okay. Now let's work out the same thing in a medium which is a liquid having a density of 800 but the angle doesn't change. Huh? It is given in the question the angle doesn't change. So here will be a tension T. It will having the same two component T cos theta this side and T sin theta this side. Is this tension the same? Well, let us analyze. There are two things to be seen over here. First, the force between the two charges decreases as it is inserted in some another medium. So this force has decreased which is repelling because these two are having the same kind of charge, say positive charge. Now this force will decrease because they are inserted in a medium. Secondly, the weight of the body will decrease due to the presence of a buoyant force or an upthrust force will be acting upwards. So let us draw the FBD. So T has a component in the vertical direction which will be T cos theta. A component in the horizontal direction which is T sin theta. Now the weight of the body acts downwards at mg and the force between the two charges, I am naming it as Fm, the force between the two charges in the medium. Now there is one more force. What is that? That is upthrust which is acting upwards. Now for the equilibrium in this condition, the equation will be T cos theta plus upthrust is equal to mg for the vertical equilibrium and for the horizontal equilibrium, the equation will be T sin theta is equal to fm. Now we will divide these two equations and we will get tan theta is equal to fm upon mg minus u. Let us name this as equation 2. So this is our equation first and that was our equation 2. I hope you have written this. Please pause me and note this all solution down. Okay. So angle doesn't change. So we can write that the tan theta of this side is equal to tan theta of in the medium. So F naught upon mg must be equal to Fm upon mg minus upthrust. Now m is not given to us. Instead we know the density of a sphere. Let the density of a sphere be denoted by a symbol sigma and that of the medium, that is the density of medium be denoted by rho. These both are density. Now we can write F naught upon mass is equal to volume into density. Let volume of a sphere be V. I am letting all these things, this were not given in the question. Okay, so it can be written as mass is equal to volume into density g. So Fm upon volume into density into g. Now what is the formula of thrust? Upthrust. The formula of upthrust is V rho g, where rho is the density of the medium. Now you can see V and g gets cancelled, so we get F0 upon sigma, which is the density of the sphere, upon Fm upon sigma minus rho. Rho is the density of medium and sigma is the density of the sphere. So F0 upon, what's the value of sigma? The value of sigma is 1600 kg per meter cube. Fm upon 1600 minus, what is the uh, value of rho? The value of rho is 800. 800. From this, we will get the force in medium is equal to F0 by 2. Can you conclude something from this? Yes, definitely. That the relative permittivity is 2. The force decreases by a factor 2 when immersed in the medium. So the dielectric constant of the medium or relative permittivity is 2. This question as it is written above was asked in AI Triple 2010. This examination has been terminated and has been converted to ITJ 2011 uh, onwards. But it's the same like ITJ maze that you have these days. Now let us do another question based on dielectric constant. Suppose there are two charges. 